that was um, a journey. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So what do you remember? I remember seeing lights and then being like surrounded by by lights and then I literally felt yeah like it was like charging me and like the energy around me was pulsating and um I don't like I don't know how to explain it just I felt this magnetic type of like it just it was pulsing it was like mm. Have you I don't know experienced anything like that then before some meditations that I think um, it was similar. I don't think to this level. I've been um, asking to like reopen my third eye. I, I had experiences when I was younger. So yeah, that, that was like the most <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Sounds like it was really powerful. Yeah, yeah. I would like for you to tell me the very first things that you see or the very first impressions that you have as you begin to understand where you are and what is happening around you. I just see colors right now. What, color, what kind of colors? What do they look like? Red, blue, green, purple. They're just swirling around me. Mm. How does it feel to have these colors swirling around you? Warm. Do you have a body? What do you look like? Observing these so you're in essence that's just observing colors yeah. so you feel warm what else do you feel as these colors swirl around you like a feeling of safety. So it feels peaceful and safe where you are? Yeah. Do the, if the colors could talk, what would they tell you? What do you know about the colors? They're just surrounding me with safe and warm energy like supporting so you feel very supported here yeah. can you move can you move in this space or are you just existing no, it feels like I am being like encompassed, so I can't. I don't think I can move. The colors are just like all around me. Mm -hmm. So, there's is there darkness beyond the colors, or is just pure color and light? Yeah. Is there anyone else there? Are there other beings around? No, it just feels like I'm the only being. It feels like it's just charging me. You're getting charged up, getting reset. Yeah, so it, mm, not reset, just feels like 
being charged. Do you know why you're being charged? I'm not sure actually. Feels like feels like <laughs> Like these colors are being sent from something or someone else. So are you also the color? Are you one with the colors? Or they're just surrounding you and swirling around you? They're surrounding me. It feels like, I don't know, it's also working on my third eye. Why does your third eye need to be worked on? Feels like it's being activated. So you're getting your third eye activated. Yeah, it is. And charged up. Yeah. Do you notice a lot of light in your third eye? In color? A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. And do you know now who's maybe sending this charge to you? I feel like actually it's coming from my higher self. So your higher self is sending you all these colors and warm feelings of support and helping yeah. to clear out your third eye. Yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Sounds like it feels really good. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that your higher self is doing right now? No, I just feel the colors which are turning into light just surrounding my physical body. Are you feeling more connected with your higher self because of what you're experiencing right now? I feel like this is like a cleanse of some sort. Oh, like a light cleanse with color and light. Mm -hmm. It's like color therapy. Yeah. Wow, that sounds really cool. Can you communicate with your higher self right now or if the higher self would like you just to keep on cleansing with this light? I need to stay just with this light for a bit. Okay. So just keep observing and experiencing all that yummy warmth and connection and cleansing. The color shining or sparkling. It's like a white, golden light. Oh, so it's changed color now because it was green and blue and purple before. So now it's white and golden. Is this by any chance coming from the great central sun, this white golden color? It feels like my higher self, but also possibly other beings that my higher self may have called in. Uh huh. Is it going through the rest of your body or still just the third eye? Entering the third eye and going through my body. Is it focusing on any specific areas that need to be healed? Like 
feels like mainly third eye, but overall it is going throughout the rest of my body. So is it is it healing you on a physical level or just on a soul level? So like a soul level. So it's like a soul cleanse. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Why does your soul need to be cleansed? Because I'm a transmuter and I always take on other people's energy. Oh. I help transmute other people's energy, but <clears throat> over that, on that energy to help transmute. Mm. So they're charging you back up now because you've taken on so much energy around you. Yes. Have you always known you were a transmuter? Or this is the first time you've heard that term? No, I knew I was a big empath. What's the difference between a transmuter and an empath? Is there a difference? There is none. I just, I never thought or called myself a transmuter before. Oh, so that's the first time you've used that term. So before you called yourself an empath. Yes, but not too openly as feeling into others. It was a lot for me. Mm -hmm. And that's why you had our time with the, the rapid transformation with all those people coming to you for trauma. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have to take a step back from being too connected. But it just feels like I help transmute those energies that people are feeling. So how do you do that? On a soul level. So you don't consciously do it? They're just around you and they feel transmuted? No, this is part of her job when she came in. Hmm. So she's been doing it since she was a little girl then, since she was a baby. Yeah. And just people just need to be around her to get transmuted. Is that how it works? Yes, she does not need to be conscious and aware of it to do anything. That's just part of her contract. So does she just transmute people or does she also transmute places? People. Does she transmute beings that don't have bodies anymore as well, like that are in places? No, her main job is here on Earth. Okay. So sometimes it gets her drained. Is there anything that she can do when she's more conscious to, to recharge herself when she gets drained from transmuting other people? Yes. There's something she already does, but she needs to be more consistent with it. And what's that? She gone. She gone. Is there a specific type of qigong that she should do, or she already knows uh, what works for her? There's a type she does. It's just she needs to be more consistent. And. For how often, how often does she need to be doing it? Preferably every day. For how long each day? For as long as she 
feels like she'll feel a difference or shift within her energy. Hmm. So something that she'll have to do as long as she's here. Oh, as long as she's alive on planet Earth? Yes. Hmm. So when she helps other people transmute, doesn't that take away their responsibility to do their own work? She doesn't take on the whole thing. She just helps transmute it for others that feel like they cannot. Feel like they can't? Yes. So she just kind of lifts them up enough so they can start doing their own work. Yes, it's just on an energetic level, not a conscious level. There's others that also are assigned this role. So it's not codependent then to be doing this for other people. No, it's just on an energetic level. So is there anything else besides Qigong that she can do? Qigong is the most beneficial as it works with the energy field. That's awesome. What else is part of her purpose? She's doing it. She's come to help heal, to help transmute. So this is part of it. So, so there is her level, which she will discover. So just by transmuting, she's doing a big, a big help to move to a positive timeline for everyone. Right? Yes, and there are many out there also doing the same. Mm, That's awesome. Thank you for that information. So we're gonna bring your light body back to your physical body now, just bringing your energy back to your physical form. All of your renewed and realigned and vibrant energy is returning now into your body. But before you open your eyes, you take note of the expansion of your heart and the increased depths of your wisdom and knowing, and you send gratitude to all who participated in your journey today. So what do you remember? I remember seeing lights and then being like surrounded by by lights and then I literally felt like yeah like it was like charging me and like the energy around me was pulsating so what else do you remember about why they were doing that or I think I think also, yeah, wow, I actually do feel a lot of pressure still, like, in <laughs> this area. Not actually, like, wow. Um, I have been, um, like, asking to, uh, like, reopen my third eye. I I had experiences when I was younger and I know that they I have them on a blue moon and it's always it catches me off guard and I always afterwards I'm like wait a minute (laughs) that was not an actual person that was something else but it happens like I said in a blue moon like it very rarely um and so I have been asking to just like reopen it and and so I think that's why that 
I'm feeling this right now. So yeah, that that was like the most <laughs> interesting. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it was really powerful. Then for you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. It's yeah. Kind of, I actually perfect. that's the f- first time I guess that I felt yeah, that's the first time I felt my like whole body being recharged. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like I was like in the ether, I guess you could say. Right. And I was just getting charged and it felt like from my higher self, but then also afterwards, I almost felt like there were other beings participating in it, Mm -hmm. but I didn't know what or who, like, it just felt like different beings were participating in it. And it didn't seem necessary that you knew who they were either, as far as I could tell. Yeah. 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 It just... I just felt like this energy being sent down 